Hello everyone, my name is Kanyesa and welcome yet once again to As Real As I Can Be. I am still staying on making lists of countries and stuff that I think is awesome about traveling and today I thought I would do the top 10 most fun cities that I've ever been to. Just like tone it down a little bit. Um, if you haven't seen my past videos, go do that. I speak about top 10 most racist countries, most homophobic countries, safest countries that I have ever been to. And today I thought I would talk about the most fun cities that I've ever been to. I love me a good city travel. I always get like a little like confused, not confused, but like I can't really choose if I like city travel or beach i honestly genuinely love both and maybe for the next video i'll talk about the most beautiful islands that i've ever been to but today i want to tell you about the most beautiful cities that i have ever been to i mean the most fun not most beautiful but the most fun at number one before we start pause real quick hit that subscribe button so that you know when I have really on it, released another video and hit that notification bell so you also know when I've released another video and I hope that these videos help you when you are making your travel decisions, right? So at number one, I have Bangkok. Lived there for a year and Bangkok is those cities that have literally everything. They have good food, they have affordable food, they have good bars, they have good restaurants, just like the whole energy of the city is hype it is dope it is an amazing city not only that though bangkok still has that thai culture it has the temples that are gorgeous it has the markets that are beautiful it has that stunning river market where you are shopping on these floating boats on the river it is such a fun fun city the nightlife in bangkok is top notch like I think it's my favorite city in Asia, to be honest with you. Like, so I put it there, number one. Number two is Atlanta. Oh. Every time someone says I'm from Atlanta, I literally go, oh. I was in Atlanta for about 10 days, right? And it was the best 10 days of my life. Okay, one of the best 10 days of my life. It was all things black, all things gay, all things saucy, beautiful. And it was such a gorgeous community where the friend I was visiting, she just met new people in the community. I just felt like I should live here. You know, when you're in a city and you're just like, I should live here. I I don't know why I don't live in Atlanta. I, I that's where I should live, you know? It was, it's such a fun, fun city the food oh the drinks oh all of it it was oh Atlanta is definitely top number two there number three I put San Jose in Costa Rica okay San Jose is edgy it's like it's this edgy city uh, my friends and I, I went to a school there, I went to the University for Peace, which is a UN school and it is in Costa Rica. And the school is about a 40 minute drop bus drive outside of San Jose. So when my classmates and I wanted to go party it up, we'd get on the bus at night, get to San Jose and San Jose has these pockets of the city that are dangerous. So we'd get off the bus and just literally run to the center because we're all girls hitting the lesbian bars in San Jose and it is such a fun fun city and the thing about Dico's is they have this like I think Latinos in general they're very sexy someone was like what's the difference between Asians don't crucify me for this but this was the answer I gave they said what is the difference between Asians and Latinos because you know the it's all tropics right and and the ter the weather, the um, landscapes are very similar, but it's the people. Latinos have this like, this sensual energy about them. And whereas Asians have this innocence about them. Neither is right or wrong, neither is good or bad. It just is what it is. And that's how I perceived it. But I leaned more towards the Latinos because it was just like, mm, so good, so saucy. So I put it there at number th three, San Jose. Also had this beautiful center 
in the middle and that's where people hung out and they ate ice cream and we did a um what do you call it like we did this dance for a uh, billion rising which is, or i think a million rising which is during that time when we're doing vagina monologues and all those things also all these things are in my book all these stories are in my book but yeah i put it on there it's dope as fuck number four i put soul <sighs> soul soul is a first world classy city if you want fashion it's in seoul if you want food it's in seoul if you want beautiful cars it's in seoul beautiful people it's like seoul has all the things the transportation system right it's like i have never seen a city that fucking works it just it works the internet is like the best in the world their trains work their buses work their taxis work like it just it's a city that actually fucking functions right so is oh i oof, i had some great nights in seoul too the nightlife in seoul is awesome if you are somebody who just like loves to go out and drink and meet people and whatever you choose to do with the people when you meet them consensually okay what you do with them consensually uh whatever you like to do with the people when you meet them soul is the spot for you and i think it's so underrated i don't know like meeting other travelers who haven't been to seoul you have to go you have to go check it out and number five i put cape town because home baby cape town is home but also cape town has we have mountains you can go hiking. We have the beach. You can go lay out. We have the buzz. You can go drinking. We have the food. If you have not been to South Africa, you have not had good food. Okay? That's what I'm going to say to you. We have the food. We have the culture. Cape Town is like, we have the wine, right? You just drive out to Stellenbosch and you're in like gorgeous wine, um, houses and you go wine tasting and you go back and you drive over where French look it is just like beauty meets culture meets landscape meets language it's all those things together and the cool thing about Cape Town is that they speak Kosa I'm actually starting um I am already teaching Kosa online hit me up if that's something that you are interested in but Cape Town has all that like the culture you're just walking around and you see Zulu dancers you see Kosa dancers you see Sutu people it's just like it's a country it's a city that has all the life and also Cape Town was named the gay center of Africa that's where my people are that's why it's so artsy that's why it's so fabulous right because we're all there you know what we do with the arts <laughs> so Cape Town definitely a number five number six I put Kuala Lumpur Kuala Lumpur has it's a very interesting city in the sense that it has the you know it has the beautiful twin towers it has like everything that you would expect in a city but it's also got this ex aspect of naughty in it i'll explain that there's like uh during ramadan all the clubs are closed and shit so for that whole month we're just all waiting we're just like we're waiting for and it's dead clubs are closed and restaurants are mostly closed it's, it kind of dies out and then when that month ends you just see everybody out in kuala lumpur but it also has that danger <laughs> like it's got that, that that dangerous side of it where you're like oh i could get picked pickpocketed i could get like a little robbed and shit i actually did like uh experience like an attempted robbery but i was too big for the guy it didn't work out for him but uh, kuala lumpur has that little like the edge right um so i put it on there and then also there is i'm going through this fast because i don't want this to be a super long video i just want you guys to just like see how much i love city travel and what was that number six number seven Number seven, I have Belize City. Belize City reminded me so much of Johannesburg, and that's why I put it on there. Belize City, it kind of feels like home. It felt like home to me. When I got out of the taxi and we were at this like big um, taxi rank or like, what do you call it, public bus station, 
and they had the women there selling shit in the corners they had the other women doing it, each other's hair um they had the boys following you around it just felt like i was in johannesburg although i didn't really sp i don't really know about the nightlife it just like i put it on here because it really reminded me of home and that's why i loved belize so much i remember when i flew into belize and the guy was like um he said welcome home and i was like oh my god and I, I, they, I, I was given a bit of trouble to like coming into the country and then I was sent to this back office at immigration and this guy was watching soccer and I'm like, am I in trouble or not? What is happening? And he was like, no, you're not, you're not in trouble. Welcome home. We're all Africans. I'm so happy you're here. And I was like, he said, welcome home. And yeah, and so Belize has, has that special place in my heart and also the food there. And also the food in Belize is really similar to the food in South Africa. Some of the things that I was eating, I was like, oh, we have this at home. And it's like literally the same thing. So I put it on there as well. And number eight, I have Melbourne. Melbourne um, lived there for about three to four months, was in Australia for about a year, and three to four months of that was in Melbourne. They have art everywhere. They have the beach, they have wine outside the country, um, I mean, outside the city. They have the nightlife though. I was drunk a lot. <laughs> like i was so drunk it is like paradise for backpackers who actually want to work so when someone was like how do you make money a lot of people who go to australia are on this like work visa like work holiday visa where you can apply for a year and you can live and work in australia and travel through so that's the dope part about it and my partner was working there and i was just like just hanging out with her going to bars and experiencing life Australians they love a good time and they know how to have a good time let me tell you they know how to have a good time and at number nine we have Singapore Ooh, Singapore is those cities that are beautiful it is also you can feel that it's a wealthy city like I read somewhere that Singapore is like 50% of the population are millionaires, which is a fucking lot. And you can, you can just see the cars and everything, but they have this, oh, fuck, I forgot what it's called, where it's like where all the bars are, where all the music is. And the one thing though, is that it is expensive. So as um, amazing and awesome as it is, it is an expensive city so i wasn't drinking in singapore i was like i'm just going just like dry july you know what i mean because i can't afford to drink here so it's beautiful it's fun the city itself is so much fun there's also so much to see and so much to do and the cool thing is because it's such a small city you can do things within like two or three days that's really all you need in Singapore and I remember one of my birthdays I spent it in Sentosa where it was like New Year's Eve my birthday is January 1st New Year's Eve in Sentosa if you can make that let's do it I would go and do that again and the lastly I have Manila I keep saying it I lived it I lived in the Philippines for three years to be exact and Manila was one I had such a love-hate relationship with Manila because it was a difficult city in the sense that it, it's not clean um i'm not like it's not clean and it was very polluted it was also overpopulated uh, but it had its own ways you know filipinos have their own way of making shit work they're like oh that's not working we're just gonna make it work like this so even though the city was really rough it was hard and in the sense of like rough like you're gonna get robbed and I'm, i know people who have gotten robbed in, the, in manila don't get me wrong but it was rough in the sense that it was just like hard to be there it was hot um they have these tuk-tuks and buses that are old and they're just like emitting so much air pollution um and so i put it on there though because you can still have a lot of fun in manila
I did it! So, <laughs> so those are the top 10 most fun cities that I've ever been to. And that's why I put them like that on the list. Please do subscribe because I'll be giving you guys more travel advice. And also, do get my book. I will put the link for it on this video. And I will see you next week where I'm talking about... I think I'm going to do the most beautiful islands that I have ever been to. Have a great week.